Hi, I'm Tom Karpus. I'm with the Transceiver Products Group, and I'm here at IMS demoing the AD9371. In our demo, we have the new Radioverse product. This is the second generation in our Radioverse product line. We have two transmitters, two receivers, two observation receivers, and three sniffer inputs on this device. In this demonstration, what I'm doing is I'm looping back a transmitter into one of our receivers so I can monitor it like a spectrum analyzer. So when I set this up, I'm looking at a transmit signal with two tones on it, separated by three megahertz, so I can look at linearity performance. When I go to the receiver window, I now can see the spectrum, and this is showing me a few things. One is the quadrature error correction algorithm is operating. If you look at the image from this, it's clearly in the noise. There's no quadrature error. There's no images, so that's a good sign. I also have DC offset correction, so at zero hertz, you can see the DC tone is suppressed, and as it starts to climb up, it knocks it down again, so that DC offset correction is operating well. And then I have my two tones where you'd usually have third order intermod products showing up, and when you see that located on the screen about three megahertz off, you see it's below minus 80 dB FS, so it's about a, minus, a 70 dB dynamic range. So overall, we've got great linearity performance with this as well. This device also has sniffer channels, so in this demo what I did was I connected an antenna directly to a sniffer input to see what's going on in the IMS hall. On the sniffer channel you can see this is the Wi-Fi band, so you can see there's some activity going on in here and it allows us to monitor a channel before we would switch to that channel. So it gives us added capability in a frequency hopping system. For more information, you can look on our website at analog.com slash radioverse. Thanks for watching.